Hello, Anson Garcia here with Verizon, and today we're going to take a look at a new feature that just came out. It is January 3rd, 2019 today, as you can see right here. And what I want to review is this, which I've been anticipating for several months. The ECM is finally released, or the first part of ECM. So this allows you to use enterprise content management providers. This provides the ability to use enterprise content management like Microsoft OneDrive, Microsoft SharePoint, and the like, and incorporate that into your file system. Use that as your file system inside WebEx Teams. So what does that mean? That means that this content that you had inside WebEx Teams that was a container for files and screenshots and snapshots and your WebEx boards and things like that, they're opening it up to enterprise content management systems like Microsoft. And I'm sure Google's going to come and Dropbox and Box and things like that are coming later on. But this is exciting news, especially the ability to use Microsoft because of OneDrive's capabilities and the cross-launching of Microsoft files uh, to the online versions of PowerPoint, Excel, you know, things like that. So let's take a look at what needs to be done here to enable this and what features and what does it look like and what does it provide a user. So real quick, I'm just going to um, allow you to read that. You can pause this video and let's go over to, we're going to go over to the WebEx Control Hub or the Cisco WebEx Control Hub. Okay. And the, where you want to go to is to turn this feature on because there's one little setting that you have to turn on here. If you go to services, you'll go to content management and right here in edit settings, you want to go to edit settings and you want to turn this on. Now, this is the only one there, right? OneDrive and SharePoint online. Okay. So once we turn on that, we could save that. Okay. I'm going to cancel. And then there's another setting. We can either turn it on globally for all our WebEx Teams users, or we can turn it on per user. And I just chose to turn it on per user just so I can show you over here in the users what happens over here. Let's go to Anson. I already have it on here, and we'll go through and turn one on here in a second. And we go to uh, Messaging, and under Messaging, we have this guy right here now, third-party content management, and we can turn that on, okay? We only have off and on there. Let's go take a look at what that looks like from a user's perspective. Put that away. Let's bring up WebEx Teams. Now, the first thing you want to do is you have to set this up per user, as we said on the admin settings. And when I turned it on, it didn't come up immediately. In fact, I, I logged out completely shut down WebEx Teams and then brought it back up and it didn't turn on there either or excuse me this particular tab didn't come up so I shut it down I waited about 10 minutes and brought my client back up and then this tab was there so if I go to cloud settings here I can add an account here if you right mouse click on it you can delete it all right you can delete that and then we'll add it here and you'll see that what comes up is your SSO login, right? Okay, let's log in here. Okay, and there we go. We're going to go ahead and save that. Okay, now after you do that, again, it took a little while for my client to kind of settle in, but after you do that, in any space, one to one space, group space, or team space, now you can click on your paper clip and you'll have this option here now, share from OneDrive. Okay, so this is kind of an in-app sharing mechanism. I'm not going to my computer, I'm not using my Windows file system or anything like that. Then I can go ahead and upload any document, all right, that I have here. So I can click and upload. Now, I've already uploaded a few, so I won't yet, but I'm gonna show you right here what it looks like. Here's a file that I uploaded. Okay, so it looks very similar, except I have a little display. I have a little ribbon right here that says OneDrive, a little stamp.
that says OneDrive. And now, let me just go, let me click over here and go to Files. I'll show you what it looks like there. There it is right there. Okay, it also has that little stamp right there, OneDrive, indicating that it's a OneDrive file. Okay, now if I click on that, this is really neat, guys. This brings up an in-app. When I say in-app, I, I mean I'm still in WebEx Teams. You can see here I'm in WebEx Teams. And they're bringing in that PowerPoint online to edit the file. Okay? So if I can take a look, I can pull that up full screen. I can take a look at this. Let's add an item here. And if you've seen any of my other videos on comparing these things, this is one of the things I really liked in Microsoft Teams because you can co-edit things at the same time, which is part of you know, Microsoft Office 365, not so much part of Microsoft Teams. But anyway, let's go over to Jessica here. So I'm leaving Anson's desktop. I'm going to go over to Jessica, and you'll see we'll have that same experience here. Let's see, we're right there. I think it's uh, this guy right here. And I have to add an account here, okay? So I can add an account because it doesn't let, it doesn't allow me to do anything. So Jessica is part of the organization, and when I shared the file, I said everyone in my organization, which I'll show you that in a second as well. So let's see if we can add anything here. Oh, there we go. Okay, and this is what it asks you, all right? And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just click on consent on behalf of the organization uh, from Jessica's account, which I did the same thing from Anson. So, okay, and then we can just save that. Okay, now we can click on this, and guess what? That brings the Office Online PowerPoint Editor up, and all those collaborative authoring capabilities come right in here. Okay, now I should be able to see, um, and there it is there. It says, it tells me right there, Anson Garcia is also editing this, okay? And so he's editing this guy right here. And um, let's go over that guy. Okay, let's go to Anson. And you see there, Okay, let's go over to Jessica. I'm going to click on this one, and I'm just going to add a, uh, a middle name for me there. Okay. There we go. Okay, and we'll go over to Anson. And we can see, boom, that's done. So we got that co-editing, co-authoring thing going on um, inside teams i want to emphasize that this is inside of teams teams brings up a dialogue so i'm not outside i'm not bringing up a web browser or anything like that this app is coming up inside of teams which is really cool and very powerful and really needed in my view as far as files and keeping versions of files and things like that now you have all that enterprise content management power behind this uh, behind WebEx Teams because you have this co-authoring, you have uh, version control, you have all the widgets and knobs as far as data privacy, data governance, and things like that, if that's already in place, if you're one of those folks that have that in place already in the background in Office 365. So I can just close that. And uh, let's go over to Jessica, and we'll go ahead and close that. We're back here. Everything's edited. Um, if I bring that up again, you're going to see, I'll bring that up again. You can see that is the edited version, right? There's only one version of this. And you could share that in another space. So that's really, really powerful as well. Uh, and what do I mean there? Well, in this space here, this is a whole other space. I have shared that same file in this other space. It's not a different file, although it does show up here. It's not a different file. It still points to the same file. Okay, and I'll show you that. I bring that up, and you can see there, that's the same file, right? We had Anson Charles, remember, and we had item 5 over here. 
So that's really neat too. Now, if you have several teams, um, several spaces that you're working on a file, and maybe several different teams are working on different parts of a same, the same file, the file can exist in several different teams where it wasn't before when you had just the WebEx Teams content storage platform behind you or as part of the system. Let's see, what else can I show you here? One thing took me by surprise. There was one thing, and let me show you. Uh, again, if you find out something different or I mistook something, please put any comments below. But if you look here, it says... Um, you can upload Microsoft OneDrive SharePoint files only directly from WebEx Teams app and then preview them. You can share them and you can co-edit them. If you're using WebEx Teams for web, you'll, you'll be able to view these files but not make any changes to them. Well, that's kind of weird. Why not? If you're still part of the organization, what does that mean? To me, that meant that somebody else, we have Patrice over here, that again is part of the same organization as far as WebEx Teams and Office 365 um, as well. There's the file, there's the three-member space. Remember we had put it in a three-member space over here. Here's Patrice. Patrice is using the web app. Now it says specifically that if you're using the web app, you cannot edit this file. Well, I don't know about that. If I click that file, PowerPoint Online comes up, and I have all the same capabilities that I had in while using the WebEx Teams app. Of course, I'm not in the WebEx Teams app. Now I'm in a web browser, but I can still use these uh, this co-authoring co-editing um, and that statement here is false so i'm not sure why that's there or if i'm missing something anyway that is what i wanted to show you so obvious cisco is doing some really good things here there was some really good things that i liked about Microsoft Teams and this concept that Cisco was talking about building bridges. I had my reservations, but after looking at this, I think this is going in the right direction. If you can co-author and, and put files in different spaces and they're part of your Office 365, OneDrive, SharePoint, and you have all that data governance in the in that ECM platform already, this is this is just awesome because you can bring that in and maybe you have Cisco endpoints and you like the Cisco audio video and collaboration ecosystem and you have room systems and things like that. This is just wonderful news for the Cisco community that also uses or likes the uh, feature set of Office 365. So that's it. Thanks for watching, and um, I hope this has been informative.